on our website after you click sign up, fill in the form here, and click create my account, you'll be welcomed with this approval screen. You can go ahead and create a campaign, create forms, create workflows, go ahead and play around with all our features here like landing pages, they're, they're here in the sites area. And when you're ready to send your campaign or you just want to approve your account before you send your campaign, go ahead and click complete profile. Give your first name. This is just a demo, so I'm using MailerLite tutorials for the last name, but please use your real data right over here because we'll be checking this and all our algorithms are going to be checking this to make sure everything is okay with your account. Give your address, city, country, zip code, and state. Just fill it out here and change your time zone if it's needed. Scroll down, fill out the information here, and let us know how you collect your email addresses. Just let us know here what content do you plan to send in your emails. The more you let us know here, the easier, the faster the approval process will go. And if you have been using any other email service providers, let us know which one, your e-commerce platform, and where you got to know about MailerLite. Now, please remember if you have, if you came from another email service provider and you're uploading a list, make sure it's a clean list, a clean active list. That means it's a list that you've been regularly using. If you're using a really, really old list, people might not remember that you've signed up and your bounce rates and your spam complaints might be higher because of that. So make sure you're uploading only the active subscribers, not the bounces, and not the email complaints, okay? Now, then we have the mail, MailerLite anti-spam policy. It's really short. I know I don't like to read these kind of things, but this will actually help you. And this is something every email service provider uh, uses. So you'll learn what kind of email addresses it's okay to send to, what kind of email addresses are not okay to send to with MailerLite. And of course, um, what content must I include in my email? Account suspension. These are the numbers about the, the spam complaints, the unsubscribes. This is something you should know. And, and this is a standard in all with all email service providers. Then go ahead and click. I have read MailerLite's anti-spam policy and I agree. If you want a newsletter from us, I highly uh, suggest you do this. You click here, go ahead and click there. And if you are not a robot, click here. You're probably not a robot. And once you're done, click save. And then all you need to do is click request approval. Once you click request approval, just give us your domain name, the, the domain of your website right over here. If you do not have a website yet, please click I don't have a website and just let us know why you don't have a website here. Maybe you're just starting with your business or there might be another reason. But if you do have a website, just click next and there we go. So now we're waiting for approval. This can take up to 24 hours, but usually takes a lot less than that. Now, if you are disapproved for some reason and you think it's a mistake, just contact us and we'll help you resolve that issue. So as you can see, we take great care in making sure that when people switch over to MailerLite or just they're starting with MailerLite, that they don't make any mistakes that will you know, make their bounce rates go up or spam complaints go up and that everything goes nice and smoothly with their first campaigns, right? So once you're approved, you'll get an email and you can just log into your account. Or if you have this screen up, what you'll need to do is just refresh the screen and this is what you will see. You'll have 14 days to use our premium features. Don't worry, uh, things like pop-ups, they'll stay. So the promotional pop-ups, if you create a promotional pop-up and 14 days goes by and you decide not to upgrade your account, you'll still be able to use that promotional pop-up. You'll just not be able to create new ones. And for the 14 days, you'll have the live chat and some other features you can go ahead and test us out. We're pretty quick in responding to any problems you might have. And also, though the, the live chat is actually here. And this button is the help section. And once you click that button, it will help you with the screen you're on very quick, very easily. And that's it. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please click subscribe, use the little bell icon. You can also catch us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, use the little subscribe link in the description to sign up to our newsletter.
Thanks again and see you in the next video.